In this video I'm going to show you how to um, write a MATLAB script or a MATLAB program to solve the Laplace equation example using Jacobi method. Okay, so this is a method we have. It's uh, on page 29 of the lecture notes. Okay, as we can see here we have a two-dimensional domain. We have five nodes in the x direction and four nodes in the y direction. Okay, these nodes on the outside are all boundary nodes. We're using Dirichlet boundary conditions and these are all constant. The nodes on the inside, the grey ones, okay, these are our computational nodes and these are what I've got to solve for. Okay, so that's the problem. Okay, so what we're going to do is to start with, let's uh, load up a new script. Okay, I'm just going to resize the window. Okay, there we go. Right, uh, so first thing we should always do is clear any memory. Okay, so clear the memory and clear the command window. And now I'm going to define the variables we're going to use. So we have uh, five nodes in the x direction, nodes in the x direction, and we have four nodes in the y direction. It's in the y direction. Okay, you don't always have to um, comment your code as much as I'm doing, but it is good practice to do so. Okay, we're going to iterate until a tolerance is some small number. I use 10 to the minus 6. This is dependent on how accurate you want to be. So this is our tolerance. Okay, the smaller the tolerance, the um, closer two iterations have to agree. And I'm also going to set the error. Now this could be anything as long as it's greater than our tolerance value. And lastly, I'm going to just initialize our iteration counter. So, so k is our iteration counter starts at zero. Every iteration I have, I'm going to add one to k to, to keep track on how many iterations we have. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is define uh, our u array. Okay, so if I just bring in the uh, page back in. Okay, so this is what we start with. So um, I have to simply define a matrix with all those values in. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. So at the top we have it, five lots of 8.9. Okay, then we have a 8.4 as the left boundary, and three zeros and 9.2 on the right. 7.2, three zeros, and 9.4 on the right again. And at the bottom we have a series of uh, constant boundary values. Okay, so that's our U array, that's our starting uh, initial conditions. What I'm also going to do is initialize our UK plus 1 array to equal U. Now the reason I do this is the UK plus 1, one array is only um, uh, changed for these middle computational nodes. Okay, but we still need the uh, boundary nodes, so in order to save uh, time later I just initialize UK plus 1 to be U. Okay, so now I need to iterate um, Jacobi method until convergence. Okay, and to do this, I'm going to use a while loop. Okay, so what this means is I don't know how many iterations is, this is going to take. So I can't use a for loop because uh, with a for loop we have to know when to finish it. So we don't know how, when to finish it, so I'm going to say while error is greater than toll, keep iterating. So as soon as error is less than toll, we're going to stop. Okay, first thing I do is update the iteration counter. Okay, so it started off at zero, so I just add one to it. Okay, right, so here's, uh, this, here's my grid. What I'm going to do here is, if we go row by column order, I'm going to start in the first row uh, of the computational nodes and go across. Okay, so I'm going to go across this node, node uh, 1, 1, uh, 2, 1, and 3, 1, and then I'm going to work to, um, uh, this would be node 1, 2, 2, 2, and 3, 2. Okay, so I'm going to use the i counter to denote the columns. I'm going to use a j counter to denote the rows. So the first row in MATLAB would be row number 2, because this in MATLAB would be row number 1, because MATLAB arrays start at 1. Okay, so I need a j loop to loop through values 2 and 3, and then inside that I need an i loop to loop through values 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. 
So uh, loop through computational nodes. Oops. Okay, so my outer loop was a J loop. So for J equals two to N Y minus one. Okay, so those are the rows and columns loop for two to N X minus one. Okay, the two and the NX minus one are so we don't include the boundary nodes. Okay, so UK plus one in the J column, sorry, J row and I column. Uh, if I just bring in the, um, if I just bring in the Jacobi method again, this is from the notes. Okay, for this particular example, for the Laplace equation, this is our Jacobi method. Okay, so simply a quarter uh, of the sum of the north, uh, east, south and west nodes. Okay, so all I'm going to do is directly translate that to MATLAB. So we have 0 0.25 times the node to the north uh, plus the node to the east, so that'll be ji plus 1, plus the node to the south, j minus 1i, plus the node to the west, which will be ji minus 1. Okay, so that's the Jacobi method. After that, what I need to do is I need to calculate the error. Uh, now, for this error, I'm going to use the L2 norm. Okay, so the error is simply the sum, oh, the square root, the sum of the UK plus 1 array minus the U array, and that's point wise um, raised to the power 2. Okay, and finally, I've got to update U. So U is now UK plus 1. Okay, so hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. I wouldn't know until I've run it. So if we give that a go, uh, it's asking me for a file name. So I'm going to call it Laplace example. Okay, so let's see. Oh, doesn't like something at line 38. Okay, so... Ah, I've got two lots of ends there, so just delete the second one. Okay, it's run without any problems, but I'm not sure if it's given me the correct answer. So what I'm going to do is just compare it to one which I calculated previously, which I know is correct. Okay, so just going to find it in the notes. Okay, this is on page 34. So I know this one's correct. I've checked it previously. Okay, as you can see, uh, we've got the... Uh, all the answers are correct. So we, we should always do this when you write a piece of code, even if it runs, you're not always certain it's giving you the correct values. So we know this works. Um, what I like to do is just improve it slightly. So what I'm going to do is output values of the iterations. Okay, so I'm going to start with the iteration counter and I'm going to output the... Uh, um, oops, percent four i I'm going to output the k value, so that's, I'm going to use uh, four, uh, four columns to output the integer k. I'm going to output each of the computational nodes, print f, okay, so I'm going to use uh, to six decimal places, this is what I normally do, add a vertical line, Oops. and I'm going to output the uk plus one, ji. Okay. And I'm also going to output the error. So F, oh, I've just noticed I spelled F print F wrong there. Okay, um, again, six decimal places. And this time I'm going to have a carriage return ready for the next iteration. Okay, so if I'm going to run that, see what I get. As you can see, it's taken 33 iterations to iterate to convergence. Okay, and as we scroll across, we have all the iterate, iteration values of the uh, computational nodes. And this last column here is the L2 norm. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do on this program is I have any column headings at the top. Okay, just excuse the uh, fire alarm. Right. So I haven't got any column headings at the top, so let's put those in. And this has to go before we enter the while loops. I'm just going to put it here after defining the U array. So I'm just going to say output column headings. Okay, so the first column heading was the K. So that's the K value. Okay, I, I put a couple of spaces here. I'm going to adjust this afterwards once I know what it all looks like. 
Next, I've got the U values. Okay, so I'm going to have to loop through uh, the columns. So J was equal to 2 to N uh, Y minus 2. And I equals 2 to NX minus 2. Okay, and so F print F. What I'm going to do here is I'll put U followed by the an integer for the J column and an integer for the sorry J row and I column. Okay, so that's going to be J and I. And finally, I got a column heading for the error, so that's going to be error with a carriage return afterwards for ready for the uh, iterations. Okay, so I'm going to run this. I'm not expecting it to look great at this point because I haven't adjusted anything. So if I just scroll up. Okay, oh, you can see I haven't quite... Oh, yes, so what I've done here is I've only outputted two computational nodes. I think that's because I went from two rather than from one. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Okay, so one 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 two one three two one two 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 three and error. So okay, we, it's a bit squashed up here. You can see I could do with another space here and probably another space after the U. Okay, so this this is the bit I mentioned about sort of the trial and error. Okay, I'll put a space in there to see if it works. So I just ran it again. Okay, oh, yeah, so we've got our nice things lining up, or our vertical lines. Okay, scroll across, and you can see all the column headings are there. Okay, so that's uh, going to stop there. That's concluding the how to write a program to use the Jacobi method to solve the Laplace equation.